Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to auto-publish Instagram posts to multiple social media platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook groups. Now, let's say that every time a new post is posted on my Instagram account, which can be a video or an image, then we want and automatically the same post should be posted as a tweet on Twitter, then should be shared as an article or URL in LinkedIn and then on my Facebook page, it should be posted as a video or photo. Now, to do this, I'll have to integrate these applications and we are going to do the same using Pabli Connect. So as soon as I have a new post on Instagram, then the same thing will be posted on Twitter. Then we have the same thing on LinkedIn and then the same thing would be posted on Facebook group. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let's begin. Now this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. If you are an existing user, simply sign in. And if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this and this dialog box will appear. And here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name like demo dummy, etc. Here I'm going to name it as per my objective. Now here my objective is to auto publish Instagram posts to multiple social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now, let's understand this with the help of an example. So, every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get an automated response on WhatsApp or SMS about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen? So, this happens with the help of automation where your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application will be any application with which you can send these messages. Now let's come to our use case. So here, let's say that I have posted something on Instagram. So here my trigger will be Instagram for business and the trigger event here will be new media posted in my account. Now here I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect wants to connect with Instagram for business account. Now, since I'm setting up this connection for the first time, I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Instagram for business. Now here, once the connection is all set, here we can see that the Instagram account to use. So it has already taken into consideration my Instagram account. So this here is my Instagram account and the same thing has been captured here. Now, as I click on save and send test request. So here you can see we have received the response of the last post that was posted on my Instagram account. So here it was this particular post. The solar system is a gravitationally bound system. So this was a caption. So it was an image. Let me show you the same. So yes, this is the image and we have received the details of the same post. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to Instagram and here I'm going to create a particular post. Select from computer. Now let's say that I want to upload a video. This is the video. This is going to be uploaded as a reel here. So I'm going to choose the original ratio, click on next. Now here I have to select a cover photo. Do I want to trim? So I've selected no. And now I'm going to click on next. Let's write a caption. So this is test integration. Now I'm going to click on share. So as I do that here, we can see the reel has been shared. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to quickly refresh this page to check the same. And yes, we can see that our reel has been posted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Click on save and send test request once again. And here we can see we have received the new response. The media type now is video. This is the media product type, which is reels. Here we have received the media URL. So I'm going to quickly copy the entire thing and open this in a new incognito window to check the same. And here we can see that yes, our reel is right in front, which means we have received the right response. Now, once I have received this, I want the same reel to be posted on different social media accounts. So here I'm going to choose my next action application as Twitter. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to create tweet. Let's click on connect. 
So here Public Connect now wants to connect with Twitter account. We have selected add new connection, connect with Twitter. Now for this connection to be set up, we need the client ID and the client secret. How can we receive this? For this, I'm going to click on this hyperlink. Now this is the public forum and here we have the detailed explanation of how we have to do the same. So first of all, we have to click on this hyperlink which is developer.twitter.com. Here I'm going to go to my developer portal. Now once we are here, we are going to the specific application that we have created. Go to keys and tokens and as I take you down, so here we have the client ID and the client secret. So first of all, I'm going to copy this. Okay, take you to public connect. Here I'm going to paste this. Then we need the client secret. So here I'm going to regenerate. Yes. And now I'm going to copy this, go back to public connect and paste the same here. Now I'm going to click on save. And as we do that, here we can see this particular account wants to access my Twitter account and I'm going to authorize the app. Here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Twitter and public connect are now connected. Now, as I take you down here, we have to enter the message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the message. So as I click on this, you can see the previous step. So here, as I take you down, this here is the caption. Now I'm going to go back to the previous step and as I take you down this here is the media URL now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time my workflow runs in real time it has a new caption and a new media URL so that can be taken into account if I had written the same information manually then even when this workflow was running in real time it wouldn't have taken the new data into consideration to to avoid that we map this information now once we have done that then we have the code tweet ID so here we can enter the code tweet ID example link to the tweet being quoted and then we have the direct message deep link you can also provide the direct message link I'm going to simply click on save and send test request and as I do that here we have received the response which basically means that now this particular tweet has been created let's go to our Twitter account let's go to profile and we can see that test integration with this particular link is there which means that our integration till here is a success taking you back to public connect now here I want the same reel to be posted on LinkedIn so here I'm going to choose the next application which is LinkedIn and the action event here will be share an article or URL let's click on connect now here we have to connect with LinkedIn account Add new connection, connect with LinkedIn. I have already logged into my LinkedIn account. I'm going to click on sign in. Now here, Public Connect would want access. So I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that here, we can see that LinkedIn is all connected with Public Connect. Now, once this is done, and as I take you down here, we have to fill in this information. First of all, we have the author. So let me take you to my LinkedIn account. So you can see the author is this and the same name is displayed here. So here we have to enter the content. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to step one. And as I take you down, this here is the caption. Now here we have to enter the URL. So I'm going to go, this is the media URL. Now, once I've entered this, next is visibility. So here we have the option to either go for public or share this post only with connections. So I'm going ahead with public option save and send test request and as I do that here we have received the response now I'm going to take you to my LinkedIn account so I'm going to click on view profile and here is the recent post that we have posted so you can see this is the caption and this is the URL so this means that our integration till here this is a success now finally I want to create a post in my Facebook group so I'm going to choose my final action step and this time I'm going to choose this feature by Pabli which is router. Now router step allows to execute different actions based on the filter conditions you set. Now whenever I have to create a post on Facebook so we have got different options. So if it is a video then we have a different action and if it is a simple text or image then we have a different action. So here in root 1 First of all, I am going to rename this route. So here I'm going to write post video on Facebook. Now I'm going to click on update and this one I'm going to rename and make it as post image on Facebook. 
Now I'm going to click on update. So here we can see we have created different routes. Similarly, you can create as many routes as you wish to. Now I'm going to set the filter and action steps here. So here we can see it is asking me to select the label. So I'm going to click on this. So here I'm going to go to step one. And as I scroll down, you can see the media type. So I'm going to take this. And now this should be equal to video. We have to write this exactly in the same manner. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Now here we can see that the response we have received is success. Now once this is success, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my final action step here. And here I'm going to choose my application as Facebook group. This is it. And the action event here will be to post video. Now I'm going to click on connect and again here I have to connect with Facebook groups account. So I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Facebook groups. I've already logged into my Facebook account. So it is asking me to continue as my existing account. Now once done here we can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, I'm going to go down and here we have to fill in this information. First of all, the name of the group. For this, I'm going to take you to my Facebook account. Let's go to the groups that we have created. So here you can see these are the groups that we have created. Now let's say that I want to post something in Pabli members. So here I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to select Pabli members. And now the video URL. So I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to go to step one. As I take you down, this here is the media URL. Then the description. So I'm going to go to step one once again. And this here is the caption. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, we have received the response, which means that this particular URL must be posted there. Let's go to our Facebook group. Okay. And here we can see that our reel has been posted. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to go to the second route. I'm going to set filter and action steps here. Okay, now here I'm going to go to step one and the media type is video. Now if this is equals to image, then only the workflow should continue. But here we can see that the response received is false of course because we have just posted a video now let's say if it was an image then our final action step here would have been again facebook group here it is and the action event here will be to post photo now i'm going to click on connect and here i'm going to go ahead with the existing connection and here again i'm going to select the group so let's say the group here is family members the photo URL and the description. So right now we do not have the photo URL. I'm just going to insert the media URL that we have received just to show you how you have to do. And for the description, I'm going to add the caption. Okay. And save. So this is how you have to do. If this was an image, so we would have received an image in Facebook group. Now, similarly, if it was a simple text message, so here you could have added post message. Now for this, you could have added one more route. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Instagram and this time I'm going to create another post, select from computer. And right now I'm going to add an image. So I'm going to click on this open next and now let's write in caption so it is dummy test integration and now i'm going to share so as soon as this post has been shared here first of all i'm going to take you to my twitter account let's go to profile now here you can see we haven't received anything after our test integration why let me take you back to public connect and here you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes, which means that our trigger application is polling based. So this workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. So here we are supposed to wait for a few minutes and then we are going to check if our integration is a success. So it's been some time now I'm going to take you first to my Twitter account. And here let's go to profile and here we can see we have dummy test integration. This here is the link. Now I'm going to take you to LinkedIn and quickly refresh this page. Let's go back to view profile. And as I take you down, so here we can see dummy test integration. This here is the image. And now I'm going to take you finally to our Facebook group. Let's quickly refresh this page. And here we can see we have our 
post. So this means that our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Pably Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was Instagram for business, where the event was new media posted in my account. Then our first action application was Twitter, where we had to create a tweet. Then our second action application was LinkedIn, where our event was to share an article or URL. And then we had chosen a feature by Pabli, which was Zouter, where we had put various conditions. So we had to post a video on Facebook group and then we had to post an image on Facebook group. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given here in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.